Hi, my name is Soren Gillespie. Uh, thank you so much for taking a video audition. My first piece will be as Lancelot from Camelot, singing If Ever I Would Leave You. My second piece is as Richard II. My third piece is as Sammy from Michael von Steinenberg by Greg Kotis. And my fourth piece is as Benedict from Much Ado About Nothing. Summer, seeing you in summer, I never would go. I've seen how you sparkle when fall nips the hair. I know you in autumn, and I must be there. And could I leave you running merrily through the snow? Or on a wintry evening when you catch the fire's glow? If ever I would leave you, how could it be in springtime, knowing how in spring by you so oh no not in springtime summer winter or fall no never could I leave you at all Let us sit upon the ground and tell sad stories of the death of kings. <laughs> oh, how some have been deposed. Some slain in war, some haunted by the ghosts they've deposed. Some poisoned by their wives, some sleeping killed, all murdered. For within the hollow crown that rounds the mortal temples of the king keeps death his court. And there the antic sits, scoffing at his state and grinning at his pomp, allowing him a breath. <sighs> A little scene to monarchize, be feared, and kill with looks, infusing him with self and vain conceit, as if this flesh which walls about our life were brass impregnable. And subject to thus comes at the last, and with a little pin, bores through his castle wall, and farewell, king. C cover your heads, and mock not flesh and blood with solemn reverence. Throw away respect, tradition, form, and ceremonious duty, for you have but mistook me all this while. I live with bread like you. If you want, taste grief, I need friends. Subjected thus, how can you say to me, I am a king? Uh, mm, mm, mm. You think you are strong because you wear a power suit to work. You make long distance calls for free and your secretary nearly always does as you command. But you are not strong. You hunger for a man. And I'm going to delve a little deeper here for a man who would kill for you. Who would murder for you, who would strip the baubles off the Turkin corpses and present them as gifts to you. Now, you may not mention it at the office parties, at the Thanksgiving dinners, but you ache for a man such as this. You hunger for him. And you know what? He hungers for you. He hungers for you very, very much.
Uh, I often wonder that one man, seeing how much another man is a fool when he dedicates his behaviors to love, will, after he hath laughed at such shallow follies in others, become the subject of his own scorn by falling in love. And such a man is Claudio. I have known when there was no music in him but the drum and the fife. And now he'd rather hear the tabor and the pipe. I have known when he would have walked ten miles afoot to see a good armor. And now will he lie ten nights away carving the fashion of a new doublet. He was wont to speak plain and to the purpose like an honest man and a soldier. And now is he turned orthography. His words are a very fantastical banquet. May I be so converted and see with these eyes? <laughs> well, I cannot tell, but love may transform me into an oyster, but I'll take my oath on it. Till he hath made an oyster of me, he shall never make me such a fool. Thank you.